Welcome back to Balderdash Academy. Our scores are myself in last place with 1,326. Next, we have Nate with 1,388. Marie with 1,607. Steve with 1,660. Still in the lead is Molly with 1,782. That tone says it is time for our final pop quiz of the night. This pop quiz is from the head of Home Ec and Wellness, Ms. Marie Stewart Harmon. Woo! Hi, everybody. Uh, we've all made pancakes before, right? Everybody, yeah. Everybody's made pancakes at some point Love in them. their life. And if you're anything like me, you get really excited and you just, you just get the first item on the recipe list and then you put it in with the second item and then, oh no, I don't have any eggs. So, if you are halfway through making your pancakes for your wonderful family, hopefully, your, your, your SO, your, your cat, perhaps. Uh, what would you do if you did not have any eggs? Molly, you own chickens. You, you probably <laughs> always have a plethora of eggs, right? That is true. I, I have a surplus of eggs. So I was sitting here thinking and be like, wow, what would I do? I didn't have to eat <laughs> omelets seven times a week. <laughs> What I would do if I didn't have um, eggs would be I would probably slap uh, in a couple pads of butter in kind of like a cup of oil so that in my mind it kind of resembled an egg. And then I would okay. whisk that up so it comes to kind of some sort of creamy concoction oh. and I'd dump that oh. sucker in and call it a day. That oily butter. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Nate, you're a dad. Yes. Yes, I am. You, you've made you've made pancakes for your kids before, oh, right? Of course I have. Yeah, and I actually okay. ran out of eggs right. one time, and I was in this exact situation. Really? Yeah. Well, what um, did you do? Well, I, what I did, I just powered through. I just I just moved on without the eggs, and okay. um, they were awful. They were they were awful, and the kids hated them. Um, and I said, "What's the matter?" And they said, well, the, the, the pancakes just aren't, aren't good. I don't want to eat them. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Did they not live up to your expectations? And, <laughs> um, dad joke. He is a dad. And then that was, that was, that was it. I, I, you know, I didn't make them eat them, but I did put them into a smoothie with some fruit. So that way they didn't go to waste. Very smart use of your leftover resources. But Waste I did all, all of that for a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> did your kids even get it? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't do the dad um, jokes for Steve. them. <laughs> you do them for you. <laughs> um, Steve, what would you do? I, have you ever made your 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 girlfriend um, pancakes I, for breakfast? Yes, I have. But fortunately, I'm always you know it's pretty well stocked up on eggs. But I do have a backup plan. Just in case. Um, and you can try this at home, too. Um, I'm pretty sure it would work. So, eggs, of course, um, are good for recipes. Uh, but not everyone <laughs> knows this. <laughs> Solids. Eggs are good Again, for come back recipes. for more cooking tips here on Balderdash Academy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Betty Davis. But um, not, what not everyone knows is... That um, you can use the egg later in its life uh, in place of an egg. So, uh, if you have chicken breasts in your freezer, um, mm -hmm. or chicken Just, some matured egg. legs, or uh, any chicken product, chicken broth, any chicken, okay, um, chicken wings, chicken wings. Okay, so you just grab a bunch of chicken wings out of the freezer, and you s uh, supplement that in. So one egg would be three chicken wings, obviously. Supplement that okay. in. Supplement that in, yep. That's no, what you no. said. Yep. Can you tell I have could, as much education as you? Could I use a chicken <laughs> pot pie? <laughs> That's why he's the coach my favorite and not a teacher. professor. My I'm favorite coach, teacher exactly. was always the supplemental teacher. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, well, yeah, so just chicken and, products. Okay. 
Yeah, that that seems to line up. An egg, you know, a chicken, what came first? Bob, what about you, Headmaster? What would you do? Well, I have an advantage in answering this question because my son is allergic to eggs. So we can't use eggs anywhere. So whenever we make anything, and not just pancakes, we have to use an egg substitute. And there are many different techniques that you can use to replace eggs. Like Steve said, if you don't have liquid chickens, you can always liquefy a chicken and use that in its place. I mean, that was brilliant. Uh, there's always the technique of over whipping the batter a little bit to form some gluten and then adding in a carbonated beverage to help use that extra lift to use that as a leavening agent. What I prefer to do is take a different approach and just lie. Just tell them there are eggs in it. Convince okay. the flour to rise without the egg. And you know what? If you are good at motivation and motivational speaking, you can do it. Because I believe that you can. I believe that you can rise up as that pancake and be all that you need to be. Thank Anything you for coming to my is TED Talk. Possible. That's right, Hal. Um, Hal, we've heard some really clever, really clever answers here this evening. Uh, how would you how would you score these answers? Impressively. Impressively. Yes. Mm. yes. Everyone gets points. For the use of the word leavening, Bob gets five hundred points. Wow, mm -hmm. that's huge points. Man, that's uh, huge. Yeah. Marie, because yeah. this, these were very uh, well articulated questions, you get Thank 103 you. points. Thank you. Nate, you get four points in 122 bundles. Ooh. Oh, man. 120. Holy moly! Oh, man. This that's is my big. favorite number of bundles. Sure. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Steve. You supplemented yourself to 11 points. <laughs> that's, that's adequate, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Molly, you, you really enjoy your chickens. You own chickens. That's probably 64 points. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. It's oh. 62 points now. <laughs> Oh. 62 points. <laughs> the, these have all been very, very good and helpful answers. And perhaps I might take some of them to the test. You know, I think convincing the other ingredients that they are also surrounded by eggs. Pa the mm. power of, of wishful thinking, you know. However, there are two very, very simple things that m many people have in their cupboard. Um, if you don't have any eggs, you can replace one egg with one fourth of a cup of applesauce. Oh. Who knew? Oh, the wow. other thing you could try, which creates very light and fluffy pancakes, mayonnaise. Ooh. Three tablespoons of mayonnaise for one egg because mayo is basically just whipped egg. Whipped egg. Whipped oh. egg. So now when you're trying to make pancakes, you can replace, you can supplement <laughs> your eggs <laughs> with applesauce or good old mayo. Mm. So pro tip, do not use any egg substitutes when you're making an omelet. No. Applesauce? Yes, mayonnaise omelet is not what's for breakfast. Mm. Just fry wow. some applesauce and mayonnaise. <laughs> Would you like cheese in Our that? Our points right now before we move into technically correct. We have Cheesy. Steve <laughs> in last place with 1,671 oh. points. How the brief we have Marie fallen. at 1,710. We have myself at 1,826. We have Molly yeah. with 1,844, <laughs> and we have Nate with 1,876. And our next oh. game is called Technically Correct. Oh, oh here great. Oh, here we go, boys and girls. I will read a description Everyone's of a movie game. that is technically correct. Our faculty members will all come up with an answer as fast as possible and present it one by one. Hal <laughs> will award points based on the answers he likes best. 
the description of our first film. Video enthusiasts play tag. Nate, what's your answer? Tron. Tron. Uh, uh, Marie, what do you uh, have? A Tomb Raider! Confident face. Molly, what's your answer? <laughs> Running Man. Running Man. Isn't that a dance move? <laughs> it is a dance move. <laughs> Steve, what do you got? Uh, be Kind, Rewind. Be Kind, Rewind. So, we have Nate with Tron, we have Marie with Tomb Raider, we have Molly with Running Man, and Steve with Be Kind, Rewind. The answer is, of course, The Ring. <laughs> Hal, how would you like yeah, to score that? Wow. We're now getting only one set of points at a time now. This is crunch time. Oh, good call. With 84 points, Steve Corning. Wow. Steve with 84. All right. Our That's next right. movie That's description. Points. Men sworn to the clergy quest to save the only home they have ever known. Molly, what do you have? Clerks. Clerks. <laughs> <laughs> Molly with clerks. <laughs> Silent Bob. Nate, enough. what's your answer? Star Wars: A New Hope. Ooh. Ooh. Star Wars: <laughs> A New Hope. Good answer. With Steve, with Betty what do you Davis. Got? Uh, God with damn it. Betty I was gonna. Davis. I was gonna say Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. All right. R O T S. Murray, what's your answer? I am going with the fail-proof, the hunchback of Notre Dame, <laughs> yet again. Uh, <laughs> All right. There's clergy in there. <laughs> we have Molly with Clerks. We have Nate with Episode Four, A New Hope, Star Wars. We have Steve with Return, Revenge of the Sith. All right, with Episode Three, Revenge of the Sith. We have. Marie with Hunchback of Notre Dame. The answer was, of course, the Blues Brothers. Oh, Men yeah! Men swarmed to the clergy, nice. quest to save the only home they have ever known. Hal, how would you like to score? Again, this round, only one point to one person. With 102 points, that's Molly McGill. Yes! Ooh. Molly with 102. <laughs> All right, our... <laughs> Our next description. It is the story of a man who almost starts World War III when he tries to smuggle some of his semen into the United States. You know, let's start with Steve. Steve, what do you have? Uh, hunt for the Red October. <laughs> There's a lot of semen in that one. All right, Nate, what's your answer? JFK. JFK. Marie? Uh, uh. I am legend. <laughs> I am legend. <laughs> Great book, actually. <laughs> Molly, what do you got? Animal House. <laughs> Animal House. So we have Steve with The Hunt for Red October, Nate with JFK, Marie with I Am Legend, and Molly with Animal House. The correct answer for a story of a man who almost starts World War III when he tries to smuggle some of his semen into the United States is, of course, Steve's answer, the hunt for Red October. I did it! <laughs> yes, Steve! You finally did it. Was that Yay! the first right. time we've gotten a right yeah. technically correct? Yes, Steve! <laughs> Al, how would you like wow. to score that? The highest grade, uh, uh, 200 points to Steve Corn. 200 points to Steve. Nice job, Steve. There you go. Wow. Nice job, Coach. Yeah. Oof. Our last technically correct. So the description is, a pair of bumbling men get jobs only to discover that something is rotten with the state of it. Nate, what's your answer? The Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to say it. <laughs> All right, Marie, what do you got? Obviously, it's Men in Black. Men in Black. Molly. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. <laughs> it's a great movie. Steve, what's your answer? Uh, Home Alone. <laughs> Home oh, Alone. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, a pair of bumbling men get jobs only to discover that something is rotten with the state of it. 
is, of course, Strange Brew. Ah, <laughs> good movie. <laughs> so, Hal, we had Nate with Shawshank Redemption, Marie with Men in Black, Molly with Ratatouille, and Steve with Home Alone. How would you like to score? This one is divided in three ways. It's a 300-point round. Bob, for... This is a little belated, but you said semen. You get 100 points. <laughs> semen. 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 Get 100 points. Yes! <laughs> We're now a fetish video. Super. Thanks, Marie. 25 more points. Yes. See person. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> that's honestly that's better. That's better. Oh, Nate, I love you. All right, so that's the end of technically correct, and that wow. leads us into today's moral. So, looking back on tonight, looking back on what we talked about, on the laughs that we had, and the conversation that followed. One thing stands as uh, one thing stands out more than any other. That if you try as hard as you can, eventually you can watch Steve get one answer right on technically correct. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us here at Balderdash Academy. Uh, thank Hal for being our visiting professor yes, this evening. Thank you, Hal. Thanks, Hal. And thank you, Hal, for all of your hard work to help have everybody be on the same page and move forward with positivity in this crazy, yes. crazy First time. responders. Thank you for your efforts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Hal. Thank you. Thank Let's you. look at our points tonight. In last Seaman. place. <laughs> we have Marie with 1,810 points. Not enough semen. <laughs> Not enough semen for Marie. Never enough semen! <laughs> Whoa! Somebody's gonna cut that out. <laughs> Next, we have myself with 1,926. Followed by Molly with 1,946. We have two people in the lead. Is it Steve or is it Nate? Did Steve retain his championship? Four. Well, the answer is no. Steve has 1,955. <laughs> Nate is once again Whoa. our reigning champion. He's back. 1,970. Six points. Cry it out loud. Oh, very competitive. It's a great game. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for watching tonight. I am your host, Bob LeBlanc. Joining me, as always, is the head of English language arts, Molly McGill. I'm crushed. I am crushed, but I'm coming back next week harder than ever. Head of home ec and wellness, Marie Stewart Harmon. Can't wait to beat you all next week. Coach of the Balderdash Academy Dashers, Steve Corning. Be careful what meat you punch in a freezer, because it might punch back. Current reigning champion, head of guidance, Mr. Nate Green. Be like a tree and let the dead leaves drop. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And our visiting professor tonight, Mr. Hal Cohen. Thank you for joining us. Woo! We Thank did it! You, Thank you, Hal. We did it. Join us next week. Remember to like and subscribe to this video if you are interested in supporting the show. You can find more information at balderdashacademy.com. And while you're there, make sure to pick up some merchandise. We'll see you next week. Nobody puts Gandhi in the corner? Well, we did. So let's focus on how we relate sex with me to everything from tomatoes and French cooking to Lloyd Bridges and Jaws too. You don't want to miss it, all on the next episode of Balderdash Academy. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. You can find us on your favorite podcast service as Balderdash Academy. Not enough, Not enough semen. semen for Marie. <laughs>
Never enough semen! Go Dashers!